I had a back injury, I had to have surgery, and I do mean had to have it. Uh, I had a pain, I never had back pain. I had a pain in my foot, or in my hip actually, that burned so bad I would get up at four o'clock in the morning and walk around the garage in circles for hours trying to ease the pain. Uh, finally went to the doctor about it, and had a ruptured disc that was putting um, pressure on my sciatic nerve and causing the pain. They put me on pain pills. At first I started taking them like I should, and then it, it was a short matter of time, I was popping them like Skittles. Um, kept on like that probably about a year, maybe a year and a half. Um, was in pain management and they called for a pill count. Um, I didn't have them, so I didn't go. Um, and they cut me off. But in my mind, I was still in pain. So a friend of mine introduced me to heroin and it was on. Um, started snorting it, tried smoking it, didn't like that. So um, the first time I, sh well, I, I didn't shoot up. I had somebody shoot me up. Uh, actually, because I hate needles so bad, I pinned one arm behind my back, had them strap the seatbelt on me, and put my arm down where I, it was tied down to inject me. But once I got that injection, I never needed to be injected by nobody else. It was on. And when I say on, the beginning of the slide has started. Um, I drank for years. And yes, I went downhill. But with heroin, and, and I did other things, heroin, coke, ice, uh, pills. Uh, if you had it and it would change the way I feel at that point, I'd do it. Um, but with the heroin, it was a straight drop in, in two years, maybe three. I lost everything I had, um, went to jail, called a felony, uh, got out of jail homeless. So talk about the enabling that we talked before the cameras got on, that had things gone differently had someone been strong enough to draw the line in the sand? I say this quite a bit. When I start talking about addiction with somebody, I get really adamant about um, if my family or friends would have said, you know what, I'm done. Um, if you don't get help, um, we're through. There ain't nothing else we can do for you. And I guess that's why I come across so abrasive when I'm talking to people, especially if they're in active addiction. Um, because if somebody had been abrasive with me, who knows where I ended up. Um, and I'm not blaming anybody for that, because ultimately it's my decision. Um, I've actually talked to my family. You know, yes, I was enabled. But don't blame yourself, because all of me, I'm a grown man. I made my own decisions. I made my, you know, everybody comes to a fork in the road. And some go to the right direction, and some go to the wrong. And I definitely went to the wrong. And you know what, I don't know if it would have done any good. Um, I'm, I'm not real educated, but I'm real quick. Um, I can figure out other means and ways. So, and I have. Um, I, I proved that until even that don't work. <laughs>